I did is you know, I took my own Bible location and put my money in there because let's do this. You want to see what we're training today? Yeah. Let's see. I'll show you what we're training. Oh, there's no all 250 pounds. Of it. Training two monsters today. <laughs> so what we're talking about now today, I'm actually gonna do something different. I'm not known for it. I'm gonna actually do somebody else's workout. I usually do make somebody do, do my workout, but I want to try George's workout because I want to see how he got his back. His work. So we're gonna do his workout. Let's get it. One thing I always suggest to anybody, right before you start to train, is you get a good stretch in the lats. So you hope, grab onto something and stretch. Stretch them out. Alright, so I'm gonna do the same exact thing he did. Cause I wanna learn from the best. The champ. Let's get it one. Go one. I'm a 15 kind of guy. Yeah, 15 years. You see some of the Russian pictures, and you should convince him to do all the, I mean, to do tutorials as well. It's the same weight limit. His weight limit is 215. That's classic. He would have to go, he would have to go open. That's the only problem. Well, that's only open. Let me just say 212 open. He would have to take a year off. And... I had bad sleep last night. <laughs> Hopefully tonight I get some good sleep. Unfortunately, yeah. like Arash's best would be as a body man. I think so, because he's looking huge too, man. He loses. He's 240 right now, right. but he's lean as hell. I would like to see him do it at some point. Just to see it. Just to see it. Round, round, round. Where you guys at again, right here? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Well, I was trying to do what he did. Yeah, right about One thing I always recommend anybody who comes to doing lap pull downs, bring the bar to about shin level. A lot of times I see some, some people bringing the bar real low. I feel like that's not necessary. Right about to the chin, good to go. Expand the chest. Squeeze. I do believe that in the, I agree with you in the, um, for that, for the upper lats. I think though, when you're trying to hit the lower, you, you can benefit from it. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's definitely if you're in the lower six. Well, he got it on 270. I gotta keep up with that. Oh man. This is when it gets fun. Woo! Wasn't enough weight for them. Yes. Yeah, we need we need the hang weights on them. <laughs> Usually, what we do is we'll do a one light set at the end, slower, slower pace, just really squeeze, just get an extra squeeze in the lat. Two hundred, George. Two Stretch, right? Knee stretch, right? so you round that back. If it hurts your lower back, tell me. Go big round and then arch up. But the elbows don't go past here. Right? So don't go all the way back. Big stretch there. Head down, big stretch. Squeeze on.
So Juan, Justin, what are you guys, what are you guys focusing on in this movement? Mid back, lower the, the lower lats and, and the middle lats. You know, right in your um, certain Which is only my Friday. This is usually my uh, higher lat day, but I'm doing a workout, so I guess I have to. I'll come back anyways tonight and do shoulders, and I'll do a little extra back. This is how I am. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> this guy trains a lot. He trains hard. But it works for me, guys. I just went to, from 252 pounds to 275 in less than one week. Oh, shit. You know, people, I'll add to that. People say, like, there's certain rules. What I learned in coaching bodybuilding for 25 years now, there's no rules. It's what works for each individual, you know? Juan comes here twice a day, trains everything twice a week. But look at him. Look at his results in his career. Some guys like less, some guys like more. What works for you? You guys see my shoulder workout with Sadiq. So I always do train back with shoulders, even after doing back on my first workout. So it's not like I'm doing something out of the norm when I come back tonight and do that. Something that, I'm, that I already do. Now me and George putting his work in, filming a video for you guys. Upcoming. Ah. <laughs> right now, me and George at the East Coast Mecca filming a video for you guys. Hope you guys love it. Give you guys a little sneak peek. A couple little shots here and there. And Justin kicking both our asses. That's right. Now it's funny. Yeah, now it's a party. <laughs> you want to do T bars today or not? I'm doing whatever you want to do. You don't even have to ask me. Whatever you do, it I'm doing. I'm all for it. I don't care. I just want to train. And right now, so far, so good. It feels good. It feels good. So good! So good! Really 272.5, but what codes are 275. So 272, but it's still 20 pounds. I just threw in a little two extra pounds. Yeah, yeah. Two monsters. They're 275 right here, and then now George 250, 250 and close. And not, and no classic for George no more. George might have trouble making 212 actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, not this again. <laughs> we'll be cutting weight all over again. Hey, that's a good thing. That means we're going to be extra short. Yeah, that would be some shit if that's the case.
more of these one. Justin, how many sets are you hitting of these? Four or five. Of every movement? Depends. Depends how the workout flow is going. I don't really plan workouts out. I kind of, you know, improvise as we go, depending on how everybody's feeling, stuff like that. But usually four, you know, like a warm-up set. Something like a T-bar row or, or a deadlift, you got to progressively work up. But for this, like one warm-up set and then a few working sets. I'm a momentum guy and I'm not doing momentum right now because he's asking me to go slower. So it's actually kicking my ass. I like momentum. I'm an explosive guy. It's a mother party. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see someone. Don't, don't worry about me. No complaining here. You put, I just do. I'm what you call old school classic machine. I work, I work, I work, then I work some more. That's what we do on the East Coast. East Coast guys train hard. Not the West Coast guys don't, but East Coast guys definitely do. Little, little dig, little dig at those guys. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> See, that's how it all starts. The whole, the whole, the whole East Coast, West Coast rivalry. <laughs> Listen, it ain't me you were saying it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just chilling. Exactly. All I said is I'm a machine. Hey, I didn't say one word. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing about anybody else. <laughs> say that, I know here, I'm just living. Because I see every every day everybody here puts in work. 90% of the guys here. And I'm talking about like the, the bodybuilders, you know? Yeah. We all have our different styles, but everybody's grinding, man. This game's about. I gotta keep up this month, so yeah. Sorry, guys. Woo! Get it warm. Get it warm. Take it like a little, baby. Now it's a party. 
Not enough yet? I don't know, it's 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 Ron's light back day and George was had a little tightness, so we'll go up slow. Both of them could do more than that. We'll see. See how it goes today. One thing I noticed when I see Juan training, I see him supersetting these T-bars with that um, stricter row machine where your chest is on the pad. Let me hear you and, and when I see him do that, I'm like, yeah, this dude's a beast. Not only does that take tremendous strength, but that also takes tremendous endurance to be able to go from a T-ball row to, to that other stricter row machine. Because when you do a set of T-bars, any movement where you do where you, like bent over rows, T-ball rows, like it's almost like the air, it takes the air out of you. Dead, deadlifts, it's almost like it takes the air out of you once you finish the set. So for you to be able to go and do that, do a super set with that other machine, it's like freaking beast. <laughs> You're a beast, man. I'm just trying to keep up today. Do <laughs> his style, it works. It's two different styles, but they both work. You just got to do whatever works for you. Yeah. Or what you like better. Sure. You know, they both high volume because they both for high reps. We're both doing, you know, the reps are high, so you're still doing getting that pump and that muscle, so it's kind of the same theory. So for me, I do that, and I like to try to kill the muscle a little bit more by getting that super set, but there's no wrong way. Right. Both of them are good. Right. <laughs> gone this heavy since I was a contest prep. I'm usually stronger in pre-contest than I am in the off-season. So, thank you, George. <laughs> get it, brother. Let's go on, get it. The ball feels like it's a lot front, so it's off the wall, so this might... Let's just see, hopefully it stays. Come on. Let's go, strong. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Strong. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Good. Awesome. Cool. Nice. Come on. Good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thomas, baby. Yes, sir. Woo -wee. The only way to train. Everybody knows Justin is a good friend of mine, really good friend, and family. Um, he's not my coach, he's just a good friend. And every now and then he likes to give a good friend a, a good training, whoop ass lessons. So uh, that's what it's all about, you know? We all grow here, stuff like that. So. And, and like one thing about this gym is there's so many talented athletes and, and in bodybuilding, once you think you know it all, you, you stop learning, you know? So a guy like Juan, multiple IFBB pro titles and, you know, been the Olympia multiple times. But it's like, he's willing to learn. And the same thing with George, and I've been training people for 25 years, same thing with me. We can all learn from each other. That's know? right. So You never know enough, and you can always learn. Yeah. Knowledge is power. And uh, training with people you look up to, idolize, and have respect for is the best, you know, and that's what it is. You know, we have huge respect for each other. We always talk, hang out, and I love these guys, and you know, and this is awesome right now, you know. Yeah, I just want to piggyback off that. We talk about you know respect for each other, admiration for each other. I mean, just a little quick little short story. I told one the other day. I remember back in 2012 it was. You know, I was uh, still an amateur competitor at that time, and this was around the time when I was close to retiring from the, from the sport. Did so, retire. well, I was you know, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I remember that year, 2012, I, went, I attended the New York Pro and was watching, and, and that was the first show live I saw Juan competing at. And if anybody would have told me back then that, you know, years later that I'd be training alongside Juan, you know, I would say you're, you're crazy. No way, no way, no way I would, I, that's, that's gonna happen, you know? But so for it to actually be happening right now, it's just like the top for me, and I appreciate Juan so much. And without a doubt, I appreciate Justin Miller because I owe a lot to Justin. Um, you know, I always call it Justin, he's like my Eminem. You know, like Eminem helped 50 Cent. This is my Eminem right here. <laughs> so I appreciate everything he's done for me. And I appreciate it, you know, like a lot of the guidance that Juan, you know, got, he's, he schooled me a lot in the game once I started to get in there. And I appreciate all the wise words. It's vice versa. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, this guy, you know, he can say whatever he wants to say, but now he just won Arnold Classic in Ohio. He's just superior. His aesthetics, his, his, his physique is in another level, you know, and I respect and look up to that. I look at his pictures when he posts on this, I'm like, wow. And, you know, the type of shooting a message like, George, man, this is incredible. He, you know, he doesn't know where he's going and where he's going. This guy, this guy's the limit. Yeah. As, a, as a, a coach, it's like it's, it's, a, it's a privilege for me to not only to be able to coach such great athletes, but athletes I have respect for because not only are they great competitors and great athletes, they're really humble. And I think that in our sport, it's really important, you know, like bodybuilding is not as mainstream as like football, basketball, you know, hockey, baseball, these mainstream sports. So it's you know, um, to get caught up and think that you're better than you are, I see it a lot in the sport and I've seen it growing up in the sport. And I appreciate guys like this who remain humble and are great with all the fans and really appreciate the platform that they have. So it's an honor for me to, to, to not only coach both of them, but to be friends with both of them. I have great respect for both of these men. <laughs>
Bring that back to a new level. Pop. Back to the Back like that, oh, my bad. Can't go wrong. Whatever he does, I'm doing. <laughs> So that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. We just went through a killer back workout. Showed you a few go-to exercises that uh, you know I normally do during my routine. Uh, you know, Juan he said he wanted to follow you know my usual routine today, so it was a pleasure to have him you know with me side by side to push me, and I was there to push him because iron sharpens iron 100%. That's right. You know, um, I, sorry. You wanna go? No, no. no. <laughs> I, I wanted to do their routine. Um, you know, you guys always see my routine and stuff like that. Plus, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to see what he does to build his back. And um, I love the workout. It was actually really, really good. It was different. Um, I got a crazy pump. For me, I judge my workouts on the pump, and the pump was insane. So that gives a two thumbs up. Everyone went pretty heavy. Today's not my heavy day. It's usually Friday, today's Tuesday. But you know what? Um, I got it done. It felt good. And it felt good to be able to train alongside with, with Big George, mm -hmm. somebody you know I look up to and respect. Was that Just uh, honor to train both of these men. You know, like I said, I, I respect them not only as athletes but 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 as people. You know, when you come, to, and, and this is you know, in, in all sincerity, when, when people come here from out of town, we get a lot of guys that come in from like you know wherever. You know, there's a lot of tourists and stuff that come here, and they always say, which I I, I, I take pride in. You know, as someone who's, who's a trainer here full time. You know, when, when, when people come here, they say, you know, I'm surprised how friendly everybody is. They didn't expect it to be as friendly. And these two guys set the tone for that. You know, when you got all the other great athletes, like, you know, you got Arash, you have Max, you got Sadiq, you got a bunch of guys here 
but everybody's friendly. And these two set that tone. These two are two of the most genuine bodybuilders you'll ever meet. Thank you. And, 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 you know, like I said, it's an honor to call these guys my friends. So it's cool to get a workout in with both of them. They're both monsters. Mm -hmm. They're great back workout today. So. I hope you guys like the video. Um, well, we would like to do more in the upcoming future. You know, give, leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys want to see. And um, we'll, we will do our best to make it happen. You know, hopefully next time me and Serge will do a food video. It doesn't have to be a food video of us just eating as much food as possible. It could just be anything sitting down, eating or whatever, you know. Hey, maybe, maybe next time around, maybe uh, I could go through one of your typical back workouts, you know. Because it's about being open-minded. You know, he wanted to try out one of my workouts. I, w I would love to try out one of his, you know, and you know, see how I love it, you know. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I, hey. I, would definitely, um, um, I, would, I would definitely love that, yeah. Hey, hey, once you think you know it all, you stop learning. So that's right. Iron sharpens iron. That's Learn right. Learn from each other. So. Now, it's, now it's time to eat up. One's already started. I gotta get my meal in now. Hey, a toast, brother. Boom. Cheers. Let's get it.